Hey everybody. So we are finished with the bat. Um, as you can see here, I used my two pieces of sandpaper. Um, you're going to want to use a 60 grit first or some sort of heavier duty grit to cut away at any of the imperfections of the bat. Um, usually that takes the longest. So you're going to make sure that you sand the entire bat so it's pretty smooth and that all the imperfections are out of it. After you do that, you're going to use the finer grit paper. In this case, I use the 400 grit and smooth the rest of the bat out. As I said before, this is a little bit of an odd looking model bat. It's not your typical 271, um, so it kind of looks like a softball bat. So with that said, this is the final product. Um, you just want to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Um, feel around for any imperfections. Go back to it with the sandpaper if you need to. The last thing you want to do is miss a spot. Cut off the little piece over here that's next to the knob. And then you can't put it back on the lathe and you're in trouble. So be careful of that. I personally bought some stamps. It's just ink stamps. Um, people who are doing this for fun in the garage like I'm doing are probably looking at this and saying, that's kind of cool. People who do this professionally are laughing at me right now. But again, I'm doing this in my garage. So it's a cool way to just put your logo on the bat. Um, I got it from a stamp website. And then um, I also have another one here at the top where I put the name of the company. Um, and then I could put the player's number underneath it. So this is a cool way of doing it. Suggestions for people who are interested in painting their bats. Um, I actually don't paint my bats. I only stain them only because it's easier. Uh, and I kind of like the way it looks. It's a little bit more unique. Um, if I want a two-tone stain the bat, I just keep it on the lathe because I could spin the lathe and um, basically just paint the stain on and then wipe it off without it dripping. Um, that are in the case that you're going to see here. I also have a torch so that I can burn the ends of the bat or do whatever you're looking to do. Um, as you can see on the Instagram page, there's different types of uh, burns that I've done or stains that I've done. But this is just a fun way to add your own creative, you know, little stamp onto the bat. So with that said, um, you could finish your bat however you want. When you are done making it look pretty or however you want to make it look, um, just grab your finish. In my case, I'm just using uh, oil-based polyurethane from Home Depot. It's nothing too crazy, but it's oil-based, which is important so that if it, if you know, you're know you playing a game and the ground's wet, it's not going to ruin the bat too much. Um, the oil base is going to prevent the water from penetrating, which is kind of nice. Um, and then when you have it on you, you can just use it whenever you want. So usually I do... Um, I just grab uh, a paintbrush. I have a whole bunch of small disposable paintbrushes, put on the polyurethane, let it dry for a couple hours, do another coat, and maybe a third coat from feeling crazy, and that's about it. And then you're done with the bat. So I hope these videos were useful. Um, just make sure you're doing this safely and you're having fun with it. It's going to take time. You're going to make mistakes. Um, and when you figure out how to do it, it is fun and it's nice because it's way cheaper than buying bats if you are still playing baseball yourself. So if you have any questions for me, just let me know. And thanks for watching.